I am Dr. Satish Babu, Senior ENT Consultant working with the Apollo Hospitals, Bangalore. Uh, monoclonal antibodies are uh, antibodies synthesized uh, outside and uh, given to a person uh, uh, for a specific target. So in allergy, uh, nasal polyps and inferior turbinate hypertrophy, the success rate is not very great. If you are allergic to one uh, particular thing, you may be allergic to a lot of other things as well. Maybe uh, they have shown up, maybe maybe they haven't. So if, if you are you know, specifically allergic to one particular food material or some dust particles or anything like that, if it can be identified, then um, you know, for a few of these things, there can be uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, prepared and given to you time and again as and when the symptoms reappear. And that may be of help but the success rate is not that great and it's quite expensive also. So it is not very commonly used in you know, a regular treatment of allergy. Uh, whereas uh, you know, common treatment methods like uh, anti-allergic, anti-histaminic uh, medications, um, nasal drops, nasal sprays uh, are, are quite useful and they, they keep you symptom free uh, for longer periods of time if uh, taken in prescribed format and duration. You know, as and when required, this can be repeated safe in the long run also you know we can keep monoclonal antibodies uh, uh, in a rare exception and if you get success with that and your symptoms subside there is nothing like it